Hey guys, it's Quinston and today we're gonna look at the doubly circular link list. Now, um, essentially what is a doubly circular link list? Hmm. Um, we looked at the link list, which was a unidirectional, you know, list kind of thing, which moved only in a single direction, as in if you have a node, you have another node, you have another node, and you can go from the first node to the second, and from the second to the third, but you cannot go from the third to the first through the second. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to design a doubly circular, uh, not circular, just the normal linear doubly linked list which is going to go from the second to the third sorry the second to the first without actually going through any other loop de loops um so for this obviously initially we need um the number of states we're gonna have that is int oh sorry static int um number of linked list equal to zero initially this is just for you know counting the number of variables I'm um, sorry nodes we're gonna have in the whole you know node uh, next we will need a data in data we are able to store at least the memory locations of the data we're gonna put in the node and then we're gonna have uh, two things the first is a D node I'm gonna call this a D node the previous node previous node and then the D node next node so the D node previous node and the D node next node. These are the two memory locations which are going to be uh, basically pointers to the next node. This is going to be a pointer to the previous node which was like uh, from second to the first and this is going to be a pointer to the next node that is from the second to the third. And uh, yeah, it's not that difficult to understand anyway. So then we're going to have our, our constructor that is the D node, um, sorry, not capital O's. And in here we're gonna pass in a data that is int data and um, data oh, sorry this dot data will be equal to data hmm, simple and number of linked list plus plus to you know count the number of nodes we're gonna put or the number of times we're gonna call this constructor or the number of nodes we will make mm -hmm. that's about it in this class uh, just remember these are pointers and not variables we did this in the last tutorials but still I wanted to emphasize on this D node hmm. D node hmm. so next we have this over here that is a doubly circular link list class and in this class we're gonna make a few functions now let me just um, tell you initially what functions we're gonna make so we're gonna make void add node sorry I should write public initially you know for just good practice public I can't type today public um, uh, void I guess add node zzz, add nodes zzz. <laughs> and in this I'm gonna pass nothing absolutely nothing then we can have another you know just copy and paste this stuff it's, it's pretty time-consuming to type all that out you know I mean how do people type so much and then we have over here we, we're gonna insert node function not inset insert insert node function and then we're gonna have one more function that is called as delete node and then we're gonna have uh, another print node and all that kind of stuff but that's gonna come later uh, so initially what we're gonna do is define a few things we're gonna say D node uh, st sorry static D node because you know it's all fancy and it's static static D node um, root because every you know even if you have a doubly circular link list a doubly link list a link list a circular link list whatever type of link list or whatever thing your data structure you're defining you always need a root if if I mean if it's uh, explicitly mentioned that you don't need a root you always do need a root so static um, D node I, I don't know why I named it D node it's just it just came to mind I guess um, so a static D node and the next will obviously be um, temp not obviously but well I'm a incessant copy paster so yeah that and then we have um current so current is going to be the current stuff we will be messing with messing is a hard word so the f the next thing we're going to do is actually declare our d node so we're going to go d node uh d node <laughs> equal to new well d node <laughs> i 
and then here we're gonna pass uh, the data oh yeah here we're gonna pass and data sorry for that I mean if you get offended I don't really care um <laughs> data uh, yeah that's about it um, okay so let's just here obviously we're gonna pass and data and then uh, end after because we're gonna insert node after a particular node and here we're gonna pass a delete node and uh, we're gonna pass int number node number int node number so whatever node number I'll change the name eventually but I'm just telling you so um, how do we add nodes to a particular doubly linked list um, so we have a, suppose we have two nodes one and two and there is a link which goes from one to two and a link which goes from two to one okay so suppose uh, you have uh, um, you don't have a root okay suppose let's just consider you don't have root so if root equal to equal to null okay that, that was Hindi sorry uh, so if you have root equal to equal to null so um, what is the main essence you can you, you need to have both the directions that is the previous of the root and the next of the root equal to null so you go root is equal to d node and also then you go root dot previous node is equal to null and root dot next node is equal to null because you don't want the root to be connected initially to anything else if well there is some next you know root is not equal to null and it's connected to something else then you go uh, obviously you have to use current dot um, current not dot current equal to root and uh, then you go while current dot next node is not equal to null and then you go current equal to current dot next node simple enough yeah after this you reach a point where yeah you are at the current but there is no next node to it so basically after this loop you're at the point where you have to insert a node after current so you go current dot next node oh where am I typing Quinston pay attention current dot next node is equal to D node okay so the so the next current next node is D node so yeah D node is set over there but then you have to also connect the D node cup the previous um, a pointer of D node to current so you go D node dot previous equal to current and you are sorry current that's it and then you are set so next you also have to go D node dot next node is equal to null because you don't want the next node to you know it, I mean this is implicitly uh, already defined but you still want to define it because you know good pra programming practice never goes unnoticed Okay, so I guess we're done with the <coughs> sorry add nodes function. Let us go into our insert nodes function. So what do we do over here? So first we define um, basically our data variables. Um, I mean the pointer object, whatever. Okay, this is dead. Um, so next we have int ith node, which is basically going to be equal to our you know I mean the counter which we're going to use to check for after like after which node you want to put the new you know new node um, basically um, so then we have another thing we want to do that is current dot obviously current is equal to root because uh, surprise surprise you always have to do that so while um, I guess the ith node is not equal to after you always have to go and do this after ith node plus plus because that is a uh, you know something you should do so, and current dot next node is equal to root because that then uh, when you finish up with this loop you will read somewhere so that place is basically the that node basically is the one before after which you have to put the next node but there's a problem now what happens is you're inserting a node and uh, you have one node the next node and you're putting it inside those two nodes so how do you do it um, so let's just look at the basics you have a link going from the current node to the next node and from the next node to the current node like in opposite directions so you have to break those links obviously so you do 
current dot next node should go to the new node that is D node so current dot next node is equal to D node right so you broke one one basic thing and you go D node dot next node is equal to current dot next node but you just broke that link right you can't do this so what do you do you use something which we defined over here temp ah simple right right no funny business over there so temp equal to current dot next node so the same thing current dot next node is equal to d node right right so current dot next node is equal to d node d node dot next node is equal to temp what did that do what, what did that do temp is current dot next node right why because you temp you want to insert d node between current and temp okay current d node then temp current d node temp so you go d node dot next node should be temp because obviously temp is coming after d node then you go obviously temp dot previous node is equal to d node and d node dot previous node is equal to current and yeah that's about it for the insert function I will continue this tutorial in the next uh, segment because it's getting too long and I don't want to you know make it too long because people don't watch long videos anyway um, so thanks for watching like share subscribe if you found this useful and if you actually want this to be useful you should probably come for the next tutorial which is going to be uploaded right after this so yeah do all that stuff and uh, yeah thanks for watching appreciate it later gators Oh, 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 oh,